Welcome to Herbalist's Treasure Chest Coltswood Flower Painting Process. I know that I'm gonna regret this, but I'm taking him as well. We are on a mission to pick up Coltswood Flower, which is one of the first flowers in the beginning of the spring. I need a sample for a reference photo and color matching. It's time to pick some flowers, only flower heads. After 30 minutes of picking time, I have full chest of little treasures. After long winter and first sunny days, these flowers can bring positive emotions. No wonder they have stress relief benefits. And he was a super good dog. Okay, we're not home yet, but <laughs> I'm, re I'm already happy that I took him with me. Colt's foot is a beautiful yellow wildflower that blooms in early spring and is known for its healthy remedies. Apart from its visual appeal, Colt's foot has several interesting health benefits, like healing sore throat, headaches, anti-inflammatory and stress relief. and we can start painting. In this tutorial I will be showing parts of the painting process because the whole process took quite a long time and almost five hours, but I will show you the approach technique of main parts like stems, leaves, flower heads, so you can paint along, try on your own. I'm going straight with fine brush I'm not applying water. For the stem part, I'm taking much brighter green color, which is lemon yellow and ultramarine blue. First layers are still transparent and light. I'm not going super dark. And always when starting to paint, I test my grounds and I test the watercolor mixes I made, so that's why I start. Now to the yellow part, removing more of the graphite, so it stays really, really light, only you can see it. Try to remove as much as possible. But uh, great news, I just heard that there is a possibility to get a pen which is disappearing after a hair dryer is applied after so you can draw line and then use a hair here a super closer look to my flower head taking a little touch of sap green for some darker uh, flower head parts and as you can see, I'm applying, working with the very tip of the finest brush. Don't overdo darker brush strokes, as we can see from the reference. That applying darker layer to this part of the stem, because it is in the shadow. There's this flower head on the very left, is casting shadow on this longer stem. Using watercolor mixes that we pre-mixed in the beginning, there are lemon yellow, ultramarine blue and little touch of alizarin crimson. 
I just have it in three variations. One has only lemon yellow and ultramarine blue and next two have all three pigments. The difference is... Now a closer look to the next flower I will be painting. Approach is the same, technique is the same, careful observation of the reference, finer brush strokes and moving forward.
Now a very careful moment. Painting is almost finished and I want to give some more contrast. So I'm taking lamp black and sap green. This is very intense pigment and I use it super rarely. With a finer tip brush I'm putting some minor super tiny brush strokes in some of the areas adding sap green and adding finishing touches in some areas making them more brighter green slightly darker contrast to the shadow and I'm painting over the whole area because underneath everything is in places I have tonal values details and this is just a very light wash over some parts that I need to make darker because from the reference I noticed that some parts of the flower are still much darker in the shadow and I need to build contrast in order for lighter areas to look lighter. I'm not touching now light areas, I'm just giving a little bit more contrast to the shadow. I'm finishing up this painting and I learned a lot, especially patience, and I so enjoyed painting this Colts Food flower composition. Well, artwork is done. I like the result. It's very detailed. It did ask a lot of attention and time. This tutorial is a little bit over an hour, but in real life, it took me about five hours of work. That is when we have a lot of details and teeny tiny work to get realistic results. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And this is for Artwork Mail Club of April. Thank you and see you in my next tutorials. Bye bye.